Hello lovelies, I am back with the demo game of Hotel Magnate. Um, we've still got our two guests. Um, I don't think I can hire a cleaner. I have been looking. Um, I think obviously because this is a demo that we are not up to that yet in the game, but it would be in manage and the staff. So hiring staff, we can only hire a receptionist. So all of these people are receptionists. So yeah i i guess that's where we're up to in the um in the demo game so what i thought i would do i would play one more episode just to see if we can reach our objectives and oh what was that oh they were getting changed that's interesting um so what i thought i'd do is just to build some other stuff while we're here so we had like a gym. I don't know actually if we... Oh, these are still locked. Treadmill. Is there anything that I can build? Oh, what's in here? Good reception. Oh, laundry machine. Storage shelf. Casino. What's in Oh, we can do a restaurant. So yeah, let's make a restaurant and see how we got on with that. So we're going to build a wall. And I think if we have the restaurant over here, maybe if we do a bit of a... I'm not quite sure how big it needs to be. If we do an interesting kind of angle thing. Um, oh, I've done something. I've got a, an error. Is this going to be big enough? I mean, our restaurant is massive compared to the rest of the uh, the building. Right, what's my alert about? Bed 2P. Is this this one again? 2-1P. It's not reachable. Okay, well, how about we move you... Put you there... Move this. That go there. Move, no, move, no, move the bed. What about there? Is it reachable there? Yes. I mean, now the room looks super weird, but who cares? Right, so flooring. We want some nice... Um, I mean, maybe we just continue with the wood. Do we think? I think so. And something nice and clean looking for the walls. Is that purple? I suppose it is. Do we have just like a white? Um, white. Or do we want something... Wow, that's jazzy. Let's do let's do the jazzy one. Let's just go all out. <sighs> wow. I mean, you do get these weird places that are just super, like, not even themed, but just really random colours. Like, I mean, it matches this. Right, we need doors. Um, how about a glass door? through so everyone can see that that is the restaurant right furniture what are we needing oh we've got booths oh oh we've got oh diner tables i mean they would look quite jazzy with this wallpaper i think or a moon tables or just the basic diner tables i mean maybe i mean our money i keep spending money without even thinking about it Maybe we do the basic diner tables. So we need a one of these. Do we need? Actually, if we do the room mm, public area, bar, bathroom, reception, restaurant. Here we go. So we need table and a hosting stand. So why is there no hosting stand in this wood is what i want to know should we have the white one let's do the white one 
Um, oh, pressing the wrong buttons again. Sorry, guys. You do the hosting stand as you come in through the door, like that, and then. I mean, this is going to be massive. One in the corner. Um, if we do a couple along here, next to each other like this, and then maybe some tables like along this wall and we can get some windows along here to make it look nice. And um, how about a little two by two? Oh, now what are you telling me that I've done wrong? Poof, right, let's just do the wallpaper outside. This find our brick again. There we go. So we do our outside and then we need some windows. I'm going to do these ones. And I think I'd like to do quite a few along the front. Multiplacement control. Okay. You know, so people can see in and we can have a bit of light on the situation. There we go. So that's nice. While I'm here, did I put windows in these bedrooms? I did not. There we go. Let's have a bit of daylight. Um, restaurant, is there anything else? Oh, what's this? Jukebox. I'll have one of those. Is that all of the same stuff? I think it is. Let's have some nice some nice stuff going on. Right, we want some. I mean, I kind of want to put something like that. Oh, we could have these fancy lights. Right. Um, hold control. So we have lights over all the booths. We could have a light here. Some lights around here. I mean, these tables look like they're in a stupid place now. Lights here. Yeah, we can snap to grid. I was just thinking, oh, why can that not go there? But can it go there if I take snap to grid off? Oh, that's interesting. I was just thinking it'd be nice to be able to snap to the... So you get into the same height. Oh, well. Um, Not outdoor, not lighting. Goodness me, this pitchery one. Right, let's do some nice jazzy, wow. I mean, the artwork, Hotel Magnate, just so you know where we are. Um, I mean, this is just, poof, stunning. I'm loving it. Right, now I'd like a nice plant. Oh, that's outdoor. I don't need an outdoor one. A nice indoor one. Indoor plant. That's nice. Um, I'd like to move these tables so that they are actually in front of the windows. I mean, I didn't really talk about it much in the last episode because I was just kind of getting used to everything. But it is kind of intuitive, just clicking on things and moving. It's quite nice and straightforward. Um, Obviously, this is a demo, so I'm not going to be like too critical of it. This middle bit just seems like, ooh, wow. Kind of empty. Should we have a, should we have it there as you come in? Um, yeah, it's obviously, this is a demo and I've, I've been really excited to play it and I'm, I am a, uh, I mean, I am excited that we are at this, at this point where I get to just have a go. What I was thinking, right, oh, what's wrong? Linked facility, is this what this is telling me? A restaurant is not functional. Why? Oh, it needs a kitchen. That makes sense. 
Um, right, so where would we put the kitchen? I was going to do a bar. I was thinking about doing a bar. Maybe the bar could go that side and the kitchen could be here. I was moving this over the jukebox because I thought about um, putting a door in to go through to a bar. But let us just build a kitchen instead in that spot. Now I don't know how it needs how big it needs to be. Also, I feel like we could probably add bedrooms here. I'm not sure you'd want to be next to the kitchen. Let's do it this big for now. Um, floor. We just want nice, kind of clean looking tiles and clean looking walls. Have we got any just white kind of tile? La 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 la. White, okay. There we go. Now we need a door. Uh oh, I was on the right thing. I mean, would you want it to be an archway so it's easy for people to get through? Now let's move that painting. Oh, I can go there by the door. Right, so this is going to be a staff area, which is a kitchen. Right, we need loads of stuff. I just noticed there as well that the staff area can be a laundry and I wonder, or housekeeping. I wonder if we need to build it before we can. Um... Oh, oh, what was this? Oh no, this is a bar. I was like, what am I building here? <laughs> That's huge. Um, kitchen. Oh, there's loads of things. Yeah, I wonder if I need to build the room before I can hire the staff. That makes sense. Maybe I should just pause while I do this. Um, double stove, prep corner, washing. Oh, this might not be big enough. Let's have a look. Um, prep corner can go here. Serving table. I feel like the door's in the wrong spot. Let's do the serving table there. Basic double oven next to that. Um, oh wow, that mini fridge is tiny. A big basic single fridge basic single stove. Oh, we need a washing sink. Maybe that could go in this corner. Storage shelf. Maybe the prep table next to it. And a fridge next to that. And then um, we've got everything we need. Storage shelf. Could go there, I guess. I mean, that's probably not the best place next to the oven, but we'll see. Um, do I need both of these? Industrial bin. That seems like an outdoor kind of bin. Basic kitchen bin seems a bit tiny. Maybe we could put this... Um, do I want to move this over here? Maybe this could go here. And we could move these around a little bit. I kind of like it in this corner. Let's move the fridge for the minute. Let's move this there. Okay, okay, I'm moving the fridge. Fridge is there. Bin. I mean, that just seems too big. This one seems too small. What are you telling me? Restaurant is not functional. Why not? I'm doing the kitchen. We've got a kitchen. Hire staff. Oh, it is like this. So it was just be me not um, 
not understanding. Right, let's go with um, you and we need someone for as a waiter. Mm, 600, let's go with you. Are we okay now? I've got a kitchen. Is the kitchen okay? Did I have everything? Oh, I'm clicking the thing again. Right, kitchen. Okay, so you do need storage shelves. That's good to know. You don't need a bin though. That's interesting. So I've got staff for the kitchen. We've got staff for um, the the room, the room, the um, <laughs> the uh, the restaurant is what I'm looking for. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we need a laundry thing, housekeeping. Where would housekeeping be? Would housekeeping be here? Let's build a room and just make it small. Surely housekeeping doesn't need to be massive. Um, again, we need, we're just gonna, maybe not the same tiled floor, this kind of tiled floor, just so we can see it's different rooms and walls. Uh, let's do the white one. Okay, furniture. Oh, we need to say what kind of room it is. Maintenance kitchen, housekeeping. So we need a washing machine. Well, that makes sense to wash the dirty clothes. Well, the dirty bedding. So housekeeping, is it utilities? Washing, there we go. Laundry. Should we have two? Um, so that didn't need to be that big at all. Okay, that's fine. Can you just click on the room and make it smaller? Oh, we only need to hire staff. Okay, who are we hiring? Housekeeper. Mm, you're cheaper, let's go with you. So we've got the staff. That tells us how much we're spending. Well, we should really play the game as well while we're doing this because I'm spending all the money. <coughs> and um, we're not making any. So she's cleaning. This is our housekeeper. Getting rid of all the smells, cleaning the sheets, getting rid of, I don't know what, I don't want to know what that is on the floor. Okay, so what is the other um, type of rooms that we can build? I mean, we're just not making any money speed up. Are they going to be staying here? Or are they checking out? Oh, they're checking out. Okay. Oh, someone's checking in. Yay! Oh, we got money. 4,000. I see you're already attracting some paying customers. Now be a darling and set up a kitchen and a restaurant until I'm back. I hate to leave hungry and so do our esteemed guests. I am one step ahead of the game here. Look, I have my restaurant all set up and a kitchen. So, oh, so 15 meals, okay. Is there a way to check this? How, look at what kind of hat has he got on? Wow, he looks so fancy. Oh, she looks so fancy. Hmm. So you're waiting for guests to serve. You're a waiter, you're not tired yet. Oh, what did I just do? Did I just give them a raise? I don't know why I did that. I was clicking on it. Right. Is there, there must be a way 
to see how much um how many people we've served is this it oh staff um this is what we need add a new facility finances i mean we served one person definitely um how would you find out is it in here manage guests um, facilities does this tell us is this just opening the same thing that I had before yes it is somewhere surely it must tell you where um, kind of what's going on in terms of oh look we've got reviews smiley 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 good no negative ones good um, even though your sheets weren't cleaned because I didn't realize what I was doing so I have to keep reminding myself that is this is the demo so not everything is done yet they are still um, it's still in development they are getting feedback from people who are playing it in early access um on discord i know they've they're chatting on there about it but i'm enjoying it oh let's speed up um yeah i mean i'm enjoying the um definitely the building being able to just drag the the walls to wherever you want them to be um, placing furniture and rotating on like different angles and things is good obviously I'd like to be able to change the, the style of the bed which I don't think you can do unless I'm missing something but obviously changing the colors and things would be good so you can um, maybe like on a color wheel or even just different um, colored samples for each for each thing would be fine because I would like it not to be pink in the bathroom but that's just me oh my cooker looks um, like it's having issues so I think there's a maintenance person so let's try and build I don't like them all coming off this hallway I feel like there should be a Maybe maintenance could be like out here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh Um this one. I didn't no, I didn't want to merge. Is this I just want to remove the wall. I wanna I wanna keep that one. Okay. That confused me for some reason. There we go. Now, um, just do they have? They don't have to be attached, do they? Maintenance doesn't have to be attached to the rest of the place. I feel like we could do sort of a little corridor or something and have like housekeeping and stuff down here as well. Um, that I didn't sort of think about properly when I was organising the place. So um, let's do the just the white again maintenance furniture um oh we need to allocate the room maintenance we need a tool shelf oh that's good if you click on it it takes you to the right thing okay so we don't need a huge amount in here just the tool thing but i assume we need a person hire staff i'm getting into it i know what i'm doing Let's hire you, Mackenzie. Oh no, Bibby, that was the other person, right? Bibby Brust. So you don't have to, I've just kept thinking about lights. You don't have to add lights because the lights came on when he went in there. I feel kind of sad that he's just here by himself. I mean, I'd also like to be able to just move to pick the whole 
room up and just move over here because I made the room massive. And I kind of feel like I'm wasting space because I'd like to have more rooms. Hmm. Okay, might manage. Let's see what we're doing with customers. Where's our customer thing? Right at the top. So we've got two. Maybe it's because... Is it because they're singles and these are doubles? If we added more... Um, are we making any money? Have we got finances in here? No, we're losing a load of money. And we've had we've got five staff, 67% occupancy rate. I mean, I found this bit I feel is a bit slow. People are just stood around doing nothing because we're waiting for people. But is that just because? I need more rooms. I mean, I, the point now is, oh, let me delete that bit. Um, I feel like I could just keep building until we've actually got no money left, which obviously would not be great. But I just want to keep making stuff. Um, what colour wall? Should we pick the bed first? Let's pick the bed. Um, yeah, I just want to keep making stuff and... Ooh, casino. That's kind of cool. Oh, yay! We made some money. What an interesting experience. It's been quite a while since I last tried plebeian food. Now all this establishment needs is a place to mingle and socialise. I think a bar would do nicely. Okay, let's build a bar. I'll um, ignore my my other bedroom. Let's build a bar here. Um, also, the jazzy music. I realised I had all the, the the audio turned off last time, so apologies for that. Um, I think the bar thing was pretty huge, so, oh no, I want to keep building. Um, so I might do that. Although that does mean that they don't have a window now. Maybe that's not a good idea. Um, yeah, let's do this. Can I remove this flooring? Okay, nope. Um, and a door through to keep the noise in because it's obviously going to be a rocking establishment, our bar. Um, we need to make it into a bar, which is this one. So we need restaurant table. Oh, it's all in one word. Okay, and bar. Right. The drinks thing. High table, high table. So this bar is massive. It can't fit there. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell that. Oh, I'd like to be able to just drag this out. Build a wall. Build a wall. And then we are going to build this out a little further I think and then do a similar um, type of thing as I did on the other side and then I need to remove this wall and maybe this one too I thought about putting toilets back here which was my idea um right bar oh here we go or here 
now here as you walk in so you can see what's happening. Bar. How big are these tables? Go over a table for three there. Table for two on here somewhere. Anywhere. Oh. Oh. There we go. On a bit of an angle. Right. Flooring. Actually, if we do the the toilets. Do they have like toilets? Oh, miscellaneous. What's this? Oh, vending machine. Let's put one of these in here. There we go. Just in case you want to get your foods. Um, we need to hire somebody. Yeah, that's what that's telling me. So hire staff. Two star. I mean, for the amount of money that we're not making, which is whoa, bad, we're going to be losing money currently soon. I was just wondering about the toilets. If if you had toilets here, can you make them into little? I mean, it's not really the right size. But if I had a two by two like that, can I add a door? Oh, why did it do that? That's weird. I wondered if there was toilet cubicles, but um, I can't. Comfort is seating. Um, gym, spa, bedroom, utilities. Outdoor stuff, <clears throat> decorations. So I think on this we'd have to make like a little toilet, like an individual thing like this, and we could have this sink. Why is that unreachable? What have I done here? <sighs> oh, it's okay. I know what I've done. There's no door on this section yet. It's fine. Right, let's put in my um, my sink over here. There we go. That'll say unreachable as well. But then we just add in a door here. And then, I mean, it is a bit of a weird space, but I guess that's what it's going to be. Put the door there. Why did that do that weird? I don't understand. Why is it now saying unreachable for those two? Is that no good? I thought that would be good in their own little room. Does that not work? Is it because I've not said it's a, a bathroom? Bathroom? Or is it something to do with this? Door. Bathroom. Let me try on this side. Toilet. Sink. Sink out here. What about if I delete this one and move this one? Oh, goodness me. Oh, does that work? What are you telling me? Bank bathroom is not functional. I mean, I beg to differ. Looks functional to me. Wow, we're really losing money. Well... Let's sort out this room. Let's sort out the bar. Now the bar is going to be super jazzy. We're going to have this amazing floor. Which is going to go through into the bathrooms as well, I think. And then some 
fantastic tiles. Oh, these are quite... Are they ball tiles? Oh, no, we can't have that. That's a little, little extreme, even for me. Square white tiles? Oof, no. Lime? Oh, look at that. <laughs> totally what we're going for. And then in the... Um, Why cannot... Oh, there we go. In the toilets we'll do a bit more neutral. Okay, so we've got people drinking. The waiter's still just stood there waiting. Let's find my brick for the outside. Have I gone past it? I was at the other end. Um, where is my brick? There it is. Okay, so now all the outside should be painted the same. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, my bathroom's not functional. This one. Is it because he can't get in it? Because of, is the door... Is it too close to the door? Maybe. Oof, right, okay, maybe if we um, just delete this one. There we go. Can I pick this toilet up and sell this one? Move the sink. And then make this room bigger. Okie dokie. And then... Um, move my toilet to like this wall. Could my sink then go in in here? Like that? Does that work? Bathroom is not functional. Will it come back again? Oh, I know what it is. Oh no, it's not. Required furniture basin and toilet. I thought it was going to say it needs a shower or something in it. Is that okay now? Have I fixed it? Do I need to fix my walls? Right. It wasn't that red one. Was it this one? Let's just go for that. In the bathroom. And um, the lime green down here somewhere for the rest of it and then our fabulous flooring everywhere there we go right our objective oh serve 50 drinks I want it to tell me and if you've been playing this please let me know is there a way to find out how many drinks I've served because this is what is getting paid this is what they are, you know, they're, how good they are, how tired they are. Um, I want to know how how many people they've served, or if I, like, I clicked on the bar or something. Oh, money's not good. Money's not good. Oh, no, now, is it still my bathroom? <sighs> Why does it... Oh, it's because this is class as a bathroom. Can I unclass it? Delete facility. There we go. That should be okay. Just because I don't like... I don't, you don't want to go to the bathroom like and just have the one door. You need a, need a bit of a... Maybe we put a chair in there. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it looks like a... <coughs> Excuse me, it looks like a bowling alley. These hideous colours. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we've got no windows either. We also have no money. Oh dear. 
I feel like this is going to end badly. <laughs> yeah, so what I think I started saying before was that um, I'm really enjoying it. I love, I love the whole thing. I just feel like I need more to do. Things aren't happening quick enough for me. Um, and because of that, I keep building things. Like I started building this extra room down here, which is obviously detrimental to our um, our funds, which we are not doing very well at at all. Um, so that's an issue for me, which I'm sure is just because this is a demo. Not everything is in here. Not everything has been developed. Um, but I I love it. I love the look of it. I love the ease of the building and the placement of everything. I find all of the... Um, well, most of this... Tabs and stuff are very intuitive and like being able to move things and just click on it and move it. I like without having to go through a load of um, screens or anything. So I like the fact that that kind of thing is straightforward. So my only comment, I wouldn't call it a negative because as I keep saying, this is the demo. It's still in early alpha access. The only thing is now there's like nothing to do. We're just waiting to complete the objective. And with the amount of money that we are losing, we're going to crash and burn soon, I think. I'd just like to be able to, I don't know, to do something else. You know, maybe upgrade these items or... Um, like advertise to get more people in I'd like to be able to to know like the objectives like have a countdown so we know how many drinks we've served out of the 50 because I feel like we're probably on about three um, but I like all of this I think the the UI is looking good I kind of want to play it now until we have no money. What I think I'll do is I'm just going to make my make my other bedroom, and we're just going to run this until we uh, we run out of money. Okay, we're down to two hundred fifty-five dollars. I um I made my lovely orange bedroom, and this one I put the ensuite into the corner, which I think I don't think I um no there we go ensuite. I forgot to to specify. So yeah, orange and purple, lovely, um, nice little seating area. But now, as I said, we are mm, our money's money's is not good. So for the amount of people that we have in the restaurant and also the amount of people that we get in the bar, I mean, the bar really, you have to have this. So for starting off, I guess just this one, you don't need the extra tables. So you could have the room a little bit smaller. The restaurant could definitely be smaller because we're having a couple of people in at a time. So if we just had some little tables, so this could probably have been maybe half the size as, uh, as it is. Um, we still not serve 50 drinks. Oh, our money is going up a little tiny bit. I do like that when they put the like the curtain around them to get changed. I find this sleeping on the top of the bed a little bit weird, but um, that's not a major and not a major issue for me. I mean, the other thing I would also like to be able to take the walls down. Maybe that's just something that oh, total guests three out of four. Maybe I should look at these as well. What's this one? Oh, level up. Okay. Um. Oh, we're in a minus. Oh, so we just keep running, but it doesn't stop us. I wonder how far we can go. Hmm. 
So I think, yeah, I was a little ambitious with room sizes. Maybe like the bedroom could definitely be smaller. You don't need all this space, especially for the bathroom. This one is better because it's, um, it's just, it's the same kind of similar size room, but the bathroom is inside it rather than being attached on the outside. Um, this one also doesn't have any windows I've realized, but anyway, we're, we're losing money. So who cares if they can see outside or not? Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, this, the space of the room could definitely be smaller to start off with at least, um, rather than spending all of the money on all of this extra stuff, which I guess they don't need. Oh, look, someone's in my single beds. Cool. I do like these little showers. But again, we don't. You don't have to have a bath and a shower. The specifics for the ensuite room is the toilet sink and the bath. So again, these could have been smaller, and I could have not wasted my money on having the showers as well. Although they just look cool. Um, so I'm just really now waiting until something happens. Either we get our drinks or we get to a point where we've lost too much money. So again, I think I'll just leave it to run and and see how we get on. Right, we have reached our objective. Um, this $2,000 will do a great deal <laughs> um, for our minus $20,000 figure here. So it took a while. Right, hi, oh, hick. I was trying to kind of say hike. No, that's not the right word. Hick, yes, this should increase profits. Now let's see if you can elevate this place enough to get a two-star hotel rating. Make sure guests are happy to get positive reviews. No, make sure your guests are happy to get positive reviews. Now, the issue I had with that um, 50 drink objective was that it took forever. I've been sat here for what seems like an age just watching the screen and, like nothing's happening. There was no point in building anything because I obviously um, have no money. Um, so that's kind of my only issue with it. There's nothing's kind of happening really. But again, as I keep saying, this is a demo. So I've really enjoyed playing this. I've enjoyed this couple of episodes. Um, I'm going to leave it here. And hopefully we'll come back to this or we'll definitely come back to this in the future when there's kind of updates and when I can get my hands on it again because this has been fantastic I've been watching this for a while I'm really I have been looking forward to playing it so it's been really nice to be able to have a little go and um, work out the controls work out the kind of the room sizes and things like that and just get to grips with it in a very kind of basic way spending a little bit of time on it so that in the future when it gets released or if we have any um, more demo games like this to try again we'll kind of have a better a better grounding to start with so thank you so much for watching if you've got this far as always give the video a like if you enjoyed it if you've got any comments let me know down below and you can always subscribe to see all my future stuff so I've been Thorny and thanks you lovely people for watching